Hello students, I continue to speak about equivalent values. In this video, we are going to solve another problem of interest bearing debt related to equivalent values. So we are going to find replacement payments that are equivalent of some debts that has interest. This problem says this. A scheduled payment of 1400 due today and 1600 due with interest at 11.5% compounded annually in five years are to be replaced by two equal payments. So we're going to find a series of two equal payments. The first replacement payment is due in 18 months and the second replacement payment is due in four years. Determine the size of the two replacement payments if interest is 11% compounded quarterly and the focal date is 18 months from now. But we know here that there is an interest that is an interest in the debt. In this 1600, that is a debt. And this interest here is how money is worth at that moment. That is the one that you are going to use in the second step of the solution of this problem. As the first step of the solution, you are going to find the maturity value of the debt that you have. And there are two scheduled payments. One is 14,000 and the other is 1,600. So think in the time immediately. They told me that there are 1,400 due today. So there is an amount that is due here. And there is another amount of 1,600, but this value of 1,600 is now 1,600. But this 1,600 is due with interest at 11.5% compounded annually in five years. So you don't need to pay, to pay this here. It's not scheduled to be paid here. It's scheduled to be paid in five years. So for that reason, you will need to compute the maturity value of this 1,600, that date. And it's the only amount that bear interest. So for that reason is the only amount that you are going to compute the maturity value. So you need to know how long is this and you know that it's five years. This interest is 11.5. You need to know the interest and how it compounds. Oh, okay, it's 11.5 is the nominal rate of interest in this debt and compound annually. This is good because we don't need to make any division when we are making the calculation. And then you need to count how many periods. So you need to count how many compounded periods. But there are, the compounded periods are years because this is annually. And here are the five years. So n equals five. And this is the one that you are going to use as an exponent in the formula of future value. So you compute the future value of this 1600. And this is 1600 open bracket, 1 plus 0 0.115, you divide by 1, if you want, you can type it here, or you don't need to type it, to the power 5. Use your calculator, and I get that this is 2,757.37. This is the scheduled payment, actually. You are scheduled to pay this amount in five years. With this, we finish the step number one, when we have found the maturity value of each of the debt. You don't need to make a drawing like this. You will need to be thinking in these five years, at least. Okay, good. Now you have a step one, you can think in a step two. So what are your actual debt and the scheduled debts that you have? You have one now, so as a step two, you're thinking that you are scheduled to pay 1400 now and 2757.37 in five years. That is when you start solving the problem about equivalent values. Then is when you are going to start thinking in the replacement payments. You need to know the interest, obviously, how money is worth at that moment. This is giving always in the problem. The interest is 11% compounded quarterly, so the nominal rate of interest is 11%, and the number of periods per year will be 4. The number of compound periods per year will be 4. And what are the replacement payments? There will be two replacement payments, one due in 18 months, 
So it will be an one replacement payment that is due in 18 months. And there is another replacement that is due in four years. So four years from now, let's see like here, four years, and in these four years will be another replacement payment of X. We use for these two payments X because they are equal replacement payment. We need to use the same letter of this unknown. Okay, then we need to choose a focal date, but they give me a focal date. Uh, the, it's compounded quarterly and the focal day is 18 months from now. So I'm going to be using this foc as a focal day, this point, 18 months from now. So what does it mean? That I need to compute the value of, of the money that day. For example, for this 1400, I need to go to the future and I need to find the value of the 1400 that day. How I can compute the future value of this? It's only if I know the interest, and I know the interest, but I need to know also how many compound periods between the scheduled date of this debt and the focal date. There are 18 months. 18 months is one year and a half. One year and a half, and there are four periods per year. 1.5 times four gives me six. So that will be n equals six in this case. Another way to notice this is if you know that, that each quarter is three months, so 18 months divided by three months will be six, so n equals six. If you know the years, you multiply by four. If you know the number of months, you divide by three. That gives you the same answer. So I know that in the formula, in the equation I'm going to type, 1400 will have a factor with an exponent equal six. Now I need to know the value of this x, that focal day. But this x, that focal day, the value is x, because uh, this is happening that focal day. The second x, okay, for this second x, I need to go back in time to the focal date. And this time here, it will be important, because this time will give me how many periods. So here there are 1.5 years, and there are four years, from here to this x. 4 minus 1.5, it will be 2.5. 2.5 years are actually here. 2.5 years multiplied by 4, this is 10. So here, n equal 10. For this x, I will be using a factor with exponent equal 10. Not 10, actually negative 10, because I need to go back in time. I need to compute the present value. For this 2557.37, again, I need to go back in time to compute the value of this, that focal date. And for doing that, I need to know how long is this. Here there are 1.5 years between now and the focal date. Between now and this date of this debt, there are 5 years. 5 minus 1.5, it will be equal 3.5. So it will be 3.5 years from here to here. 3.5, I multiply by 4 to know how many compounded periods. 3.5 times 4 give me 14. So n equals 14 for this number. That means that when I compute the value of this money, that focal date, I will be using this 14 in the exponent and I will be using it negative because actually I'm going back in time, so I'm computing the present value. Okay, now I'm sure I can type the equation. The equation, what is the equation? The sum of the values of the two replacement payments will be equal to the sum of the value of the two scheduled debts. The value of this x is x, so I type x, plus the value of this x, plus x, but now I need to compute the present value of this. I need to open bracket 1 plus 0.11 over 4. 1 plus 0.11 over 4. And this is to the power negative 10, because from this x to this x, I need to this focal date, I need to go back in time. So the power negative 10. This will be equal to the sum of the two values of this scheduled debt. This 14,000, so it will be equal 14,000 
open bracket the same factor but now to the power 6 because with this for this 14,000 I have this exponent 6 plus the value of this 2757.37 that I need to multiply by the same factor but now going back in time it will be with n equal negative 14 now that I have this I have the equation and the only that I need to do is use my calculator see so this is x so I type x this is I need I can compute this in my calculator 1 my plus 0.11 over 4 to the power negative 10 I get 0 0.76239706 I don't round this number I use as many decimal I can use and my calculator give me until this decimal multiply by x this will be equal to this number 1400 multiplied by this factor to the power 6 I get equal 1647.48 and I do the, do the same with this 2757.37 multiplied by this factor but to the power negative 14 and I get 1886.03 solve this so these are like terms you add the two coefficients 1 plus 0 0.76 this is 1.76 x I need to type the x and here I need to add these two numbers so adding these two numbers I get 3533.51 and then for solving the equation the only thing that I need to do is divide by this number the factor of x so this x will be equal to 3533.51 divided by 1.76239796 that gives me 2004.94 so the two payments the two equivalent payment the two equal payments will be both of 2004.94 so the size of the equal replacement payment is 2004.94 so you pay 2004.94 that day and 2004.94 in four years and you have paid the total debt okay so that's finished the problem and i hope you have found it useful thank you